In today's video, I wanted to see how easy it is to utilize an AI in my design workflow. I've never used an AI before, this is my first experience, so what could go wrong? My first experience with AI was with Dolly 2. It was easy to get started because all I had to do was create an account and I could just start plugging in things I wanted to generate. For this video, all I wanted to do was create something simple, so I decided to go with a hero section on a landing page. At first, I wanted to do a snowboarding website, so I started prompting it to do a snowboarder in the air doing a Japan grab and my results were pretty bad. I tried modifying the prompt a few times, but the results were no better. What could go wrong? At this point, I gave up on Dolly 2. Most of the cool stuff I had seen made by AI was with Midjourney. So instead of learning what I was doing wrong with Dolly 2, I decided to learn Midjourney instead. Learning my lesson from Dolly 2, I decided to YouTube this to try to figure out how to work Midjourney the first time. I learned how to adjust my settings, so I set my mode to Niji since I wanted an illustration style and I upped the quality to high. And with a basic understanding of how to give it a correct prompt, I gave it my first one. A snowboarder standing on top of a snowy mountain looking out. And so in about 15 seconds, here was my result for my first render with Midjourney. So not too bad, definitely better than my first Dolly 2 disaster. From here, I kept adjusting my prompt after that ideal image that I had in my head, which ultimately led to whatever this thing is, a guy doing the correct sport on a mountain, a snowboard with a scarf. I named this one, I am the board, Optimus Prime holding a Minecraft sword sliding down a snowy mountain, snowboard for feet, it's cold and I wanna go home, and finally, a snowboarder on top of a snowy mountain looking out. As you can see, some of the results were pretty bad, but others were absolutely stunning. And it took these images for me to really notice how good the mountain ranges look. So I decided to put the snowboarder part on hold and just go for a nice mountain range image that I could use in my design. My final prompt was a nighttime snowy mountain with a big starry sky. So here's the four images I got, and I really liked this bottom one. So I upscaled this and then I went to Figma. In Figma, I just grabbed a frame and added a 12 column layout to it. Then I added my image into the background. Then it was just a matter of getting all of my UI elements onto the frame. So I just created my navigation and added my heading and so on. That way I could start finalizing what typeface I was using, the spacing I was gonna use, how everything was gonna be laid out. I just wanted everything there so I could start working with it. The thing that I was working on in the back of my head while designing this was the contrast. Having an image in the background can always create contrast issues. So I was trying to figure out how I wanted to handle that. I ended up flipping the image horizontally to have the darker side of the image on the left to add a little bit more contrast because the majority of my UI was aligned on the left-hand side. Off camera, I added some drop shadow to all of my elements, and I also added some light blue gradients to add even more contrast on the top and bottom of the frame. At this point, the wireframe of the site was pretty much done. I just needed to add the actual text and working out how I wanted to present the key features at the bottom. Ended up going with a dashed line next to each of them. Thought it looked pretty cool and stylized. And they go from darker to lighter from left to right to match the light in the background image. And here's the final result. The AI helped me create the background image and I could just focus on creating UI on top of it. I think it's super cool that I'm not limited in anything the AI can create. Whatever I can think up, it can generate for me. And it can even come up with things that I never even imagined, which is super cool. I definitely don't think it's gonna be taking over our jobs anytime soon as designers, and I'm not the only one with that opinion, but I do think that we will be guiding them in our workflow more and more in the near future. Let me know your guys' thoughts on AI down in the comments below. I'll definitely be doing more AI stuff here on the channel, so subscribe for more videos like this uploaded every single week. If you enjoyed this video, you might like these. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.